The National Assembly comes alive as Parliament resumes after a two-month recess. Inside the upper chamber, the Senate President speaks on the economic crisis facing the country. He says the recession and consequent economic problems confronting the country requires urgent and drastic solutions. Senator Saraki gives some suggestions which he believes would give investors confidence, discourage currency speculation and stabilize the economy. The executive must raise capital from asset sales and other sources to shore up foreign reserves. The measures should include sales of holdings, in liquid natural gas investment, reduction of government share in upstream oil venture operations, and still of government stake in financial institutions, privatization and concession of the airports. The executive must consider tweaking the pension funds policy within international best practices to accommodate for investment in infrastructure and mortgages. Senator Saraki appears to be on the same page with industrial mogul Aliko Dangote, who has also advised the government to sell off some of its assets. But the advice to privatize and concession airports and refineries are already generating strong reactions in the country. Thereafter, in the House of Representatives, although the Speaker did not delve into the economic challenges facing the country, it is obvious that the recession is on the minds of some lawmakers. I'm very sure that the issue of economy will take the front burner on the floor of the House. Anywhere in the world, the Parliament is like a catalyst that stir up economy in such situations like this. The economy is uh, passing through some challenges and uh, we know that uh, all the arms of government have a role to play. Now we are going to focus more on what we need to do to support the executive to ensure that Nigerians are pulled out of, uh, or Nigerian economy is pulled out of uh, recession. The Senate is devoting the next two days to debating the state of the economy and going through the recommendations made by the Senate President. Now, if these recommendations are agreed and passed by federal lawmakers, they would be sent to the executive. From the National Assembly, Linda Kibe, Channels Television News.